As we look back at the Atlantic hurricane season, 2019 will be remembered as a busy and highly impactful year. From Hurricane Dorian's destruction in the Bahamas, to Imelda's fast-forming flood impacts on the Gulf Coast, to Lorenzo's lasting power all the way to the North Atlantic. With 18 named storms in the Atlantic Basin this year, the season is considered above average. From Andrea to Sebastian, 11 had direct effects to land, but a particular few will be remembered for their extreme impacts. Everything on this side of the flood protection is inundated in storm surge. Upwards of six feet as our gauge is showing here. In July, the first hurricane of the season, Barry, brought widespread flooding to parts of the northern Gulf Coast and drenched Arkansas with over 16 inches of rain, a new state record for tropical rainfall. That's the water hitting my front frontal window, which is extremely high. Of course, I'm already completely flooded out. That has to be um, a minimum of about 20 feet. Hurricane Dorian was undoubtedly the strongest and most impactful storm of the 2019 season. From wind and flooding rain over the Windward Islands, to the destruction caused in the Bahamas as the storm grew to a Category 5 hurricane, to storm surge in the Carolinas, and its fifth and final landfall in Nova Scotia. Dorian will be remembered for the unimaginable damage caused over the northern Bahamas, changing lives forever. The death toll is still unknown, and recovery and cleanup will take years. I have nothing. Everything is gone. It's either there, there, and I just, I don't know. It's just awful. Umberto gave the Bahamas a scare as it developed into a tropical storm nearby, but eventually moved on, strengthening to a major hurricane as it grazed Bermuda, causing widespread wind damage and power outages, along with the dangerous conditions at sea. Quick forming Imelda went from nothing to something in a matter of hours. Imelda became a tropical storm as it made landfall on the Texas coast, but the storm's worst would come after landfall as the weakened system dropped more than 20 inches of rain for days after. Amelda proved tropical systems don't need to be strong or long-lived to bring extreme impacts. The 2019 hurricane season has been a reminder that every year and every storm is different, and it's important to remember you should always listen to local forecast details and emergency management officials if you're in the path of any type of tropical system or its remnants. And don't forget that even though November 30th always marks the final day of the official Atlantic hurricane season, tropical systems can still form outside of the season. For Weather Nation, I'm John Van Pelt.